Good morning there, Murray's readers and leaders. This is Arthur Roy Murray for Books for the Inquisitive Mind. The book I have for you this week is right there, The Flight of the Spark, Evelyn Puerto. It's book one uh, in the uh, Outlaw Myth series. It's an award-winning series. She won up for this first book anyways. She won an, an award, and the writing is very good. The story is about uh, a young lady, Iskara, who is a member of the community called the Villages. And there's another community called the Riskas, and there's the Bandits also. In the village that she lives, the Villages, and there's a number of them around this country. It's a fantasy. Uh, it's a young adult fantasy. In this villages, she has to wear the same clothes. She has to do the same thing every day. She has to eat at the same place. Her family, everybody does the same thing. Just the one that's in charge has a better life than everybody else. And that is the way it is. Because of events, Iska ends up in the Riskers area, home, home area. I'm going to call it a village, but it's not a village. It's, it's another area. And she meets the Riskers, and they've got everything. They've got food, whatever they want. they got beds. they got stoves in their house. They got things that it's another world. Wow. And during her visit there, she sparks between her and Zisco, X-I-C-O, Ico, whatever, whatever you want to call them. Sparks happen. Now, in this book, she for a number of reasons, gets back there, goes back and forth, back. Matter of fact, the leader of the villages knows and sends her one time. He wants information. And the thing is, in her, in the villages, you don't ask questions or you get what they call taken. You get taken away and never come back again. And in any case, the sparks go on and the loves, you got a Rome. Romeo and Juliet love story going on here. And it's a very good fantasy, young adult. Uh, that's part of the crux, but you can see the difference between despotic and freedom going on here. And it's very interesting that young adults are reading this because I don't think young adults read this, but it's one book that if you have somebody that's in their teens, it's a good book for them to read. See you later, alligator. Bye.